Lion face. Ah. Lemon face. Ooh. Lion face. Ah. Lemon face. Ooh. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of a Loot Crate unboxing, reboxing. So we experienced some technical difficulties during our initial filming of this unboxing, where my brand new computer uh, blue screened while we were recording. So, um, ever the innovator here at uh, www.youtube.com slash user slash ecstatic fanatic, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I have decided to change the game where everyone else is doing unboxings, we're going to do a reboxing, and all of the footage we lost unboxing this <laughs> November 18, 2018 Loot Crate theme of which is Blade, we're going to be putting it all back in the box. But there's still a couple items we haven't unboxed <laughs> yet. So first we're going to unbox the rest. So <laughs> then we'll put the stuff we already boxed back in the box. So, so. let's rebox the first item this evening. Oh, you want to rebox first? I thought we were going to take the rest out. Oh, let's take the rest out then. That's just what I was thinking. All right. So there's a little bit left. So this will be a surprise to us as well as you guys. The other stuff will not be a surprise to us. So there's only a couple things left. I have a surprise for you at the end. Oh. I don't want to spoil things, but just for the viewer's sake. You yeah, know, how much just... I like surprises. <laughs> All right. So there's this uh, Loot Gaming collectible pin named Blade. I'm assuming it's for this specific. Oh, knives. I don't like knives. I dig knives. Oh. I run with scissors. Too. That, that's too violent. That's too violent for me. So this is a pen you could put on your uniform work hat or, you know, wherever you like to put pens. Or you could haze it into your latest uh, co-workers by punching it into their chest like the U.S. Navy has uh, been confirmed as doing to new recruits. Oh, or that um, wrestling episode you showed me on YouTube not that long ago where they were throwing mofos on the <laughs> Mick Wally falling into thumbtacks. You could do that. You could I cue power that up drive every Christmas Eve for me and my family. We uh, drink eggnog and watch Mick Foley fall into thumbtacks. You know, me and my mother and father and sister and niece. And then we hang up the mistletoe. What do we have next? Next we have, uh-oh, another Kingdom Hearts item <laughs> that I'm sure there's a co-worker of yours that would enjoy if i get this co-worker for secret santa hopefully he doesn't see this ahead of time believes that i got it for him if i don't get this co-worker for secret santa i will be willing to part with this item for twenty dollars u.s no canadian bucks here should we ban a y it to make it look more lovely it's a key it's a key and you know what that's not the only key on screen there's another key on screen the key to my heart. That's what's up. <laughs> it's a key and a keychain. What's up? There's a Disney logo on it, which I assume makes it official. <laughs> official. <laughs> it says BioWorld. I don't know what that means, but also Disney. Only for ages 14 and up. Well, that's good because if you're under 14, you have a propensity to tend to choke on small objects. That's why there's choking hazard warnings on most toys. But every show that I've ever seen since I was a kid, whenever anyone got a key, what did they do? They swallowed it. <laughs> Get the next item. All right, so here's uh, we like to eat. I don't know about you guys, but this is I'm I'm super stoked about this. It's a sixty dollar gift card. Oh shit! For turn dinner stress into dinner time from Hello Fresh. So I hope you didn't read the code because I don't know if that is something that we need to use this gift card. Usually, I hope my videos get views, but in this case, I hope it gets no views. <laughs> so. How rad is that? $60 worth of deliveries for food? <laughs> okay, so that must be like stuff like Blue Apron where 
they send food in like refrigerated bags to your house. And that's pretty cool. It keeps me off the streets. It stops me from just going through Taco Bell on a weeknight and getting 6,000 calories worth of food and a Baja Blast and then going to bed on it. So that's that's pretty cute. I'm excited about this because I love getting food delivered to my place. I know that's right. There's nothing like not having dishes and not having to cook and just it's there and you eat it and you throw the trash away. So that's cool. I don't usually get food delivered, but I have a real snack sitting right next to me. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's one more thing and it looks like it's a poster. All right. Because um, it's real folded up. Kind of like the liner notes in a Steely, Steely Dan remastered oh, reissue. Dan. <laughs> so this is uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. All right. Can you guys see this? Now that, that's a guy with a thing on his head and um, some cool gloves and necks. <laughs> And I don't see any scrolls, nor old scrolls, that I presume would be Elder Scrolls. <sighs> so that has something to do with the game, I'm sure. <laughs> That's but pretty cool. I'll let you, uh... oh, that helps me out. There's a picture on the back for one of the items we're going to be reboxing that describes it. Oh, so don't, now I'll oh, know what to cheat. say. Don't. Okay, you can cheat. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, Elder Scrolls ma map mouse pad. For people who use mice. So this is everything we have not seen. Now is for everything we already attempted to film unboxing, but again, technical difficulties led to us losing the entire data file. To You quit that. Uh, she was upset about it, too. That's <laughs> all. So now we're going to be putting stuff back into the box. This was the first item that we will be putting back into the box. I guess we'll show it to you first. So this, this is a shirt, and it's gray, and it's uh, it's it's got a red design with some dragons on it, and oh my nipples. This this guy originally said it looked like a tramp stamp, which I agree with. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with a tramp stamp. No. I don't have one. Mm. Me neither. But this says it's God of War, and that is a game where there's people in a war, and they're gods, and it's also referred to as G-O-W or Gal. Which also means uh, gown of weens. Oh. Which is a or, garment that you can, or what? Or great old weenus. Or grapes of wrath. See, there's a little credibility to this show. Yeah, yeah important stuff i cliff noted a few books in high school it's history now god of war is a long-running series as you may all know that has recently experienced a uh, sort of rebranding and an excellent new game that is uh, available and um it uh <laughs> and uh, the 80 dollar version also includes all of the dlc but there's also a 60 dollar version case times are tight so if uh, anyone that if anyone uh, is uh listening that uh that might be uh trying to uh, make a christmas list any of my viewers out there remember uh god of war ps4 version and uh what's our next item oh and also for those of you who don't know like myself until recently dlc stands for downloadable content next item <clears throat> Wow, look, it's a metal tin. Oh my god, is it mint? This I know this one. This is uh this is um they made a movie out of this and this starts with an A and it's uh it's um I forgot. Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed. And I knew that the first time, but my brain is <laughs> so there, there, there's that. But this is a cool tin that you could, you know, stash something in. If you want to pack your lunch, like a little bento box. Oh, yeah. And inside, there's playing cards with a rad design. Or for Brandon's sardines. Oh, I saw that dude smelling up, Yeah, smelling up the waste basket at work after his lunch break. Gotta he eats sardines. Protein. But yeah, I'm sure this is plenty a cool of protein. design. Yeah, that is cool, all seriousness aside. 
that playing card pack is cool. I only know how to play War, Go Fish, and Solitaire on the computer, but not in real life because it's not already set up for me. But maybe uh, you could show me a couple of other games like Gin and Tonic. I or- I like Gin. I like Rummy. I like Spades. I like Eights. I, like- I really like card games. I haven't played any in a long time, but it used to be a, a fond childhood memory of and mine. And I like 22 card pickup. I don't like that one so much. Let's take a look at this. All right. So that's the Joker card, which is awesome. Those of you that know me, which probably isn't many of you, but there's a few. Really know I'm into math, and I like all the uh, linear symmetry in these cards. It reminds me of a... (laughs) I didn't notice that little... Like the po- polygonal lines and stuff like that in the background. Yeah. It might not show up well on the camera, but it's actually really sharp looking. Like all joking aside, breaking character. I really like this card deck. Yeah. The king card, I'm not sure. This is awesome. It's like a Da Vinci in there. and uh, I know Da know. Vinci was in the second one. Um, not a lot of people know this, but uh, Da Vinci um, preferred the company of men to women. And in the second game, your protagonist, uh, Ezio, forms a close friendship with Da Vinci. And there's even a little cut scene in which uh, Da Vinci has discovered a way to create espresso. And the protagonist, Ezio, sips it and says it could use some leche, implying that the latte was invented in Assassin's Creed II by Da Vinci and Ezio. Sweet. But moving on, that's the king card that's pretty sharp. As you know, I gave it to my king. Oh, so he gets sweet. a king. Now there's a queen card, which is does not have a cool design. It's just the logo. That's not all about. And there's oh, the do better. Pretty fly. Like that do better, Ubisoft. <laughs> and then there's you know some numbers. That's actually pretty cool. So yeah, that's still Da Vinci. And you always have something to do when the power goes out. Yeah. You got some playing cards. You can also build card houses, which is fun. And the next item we'll be reboxing. <laughs> this is a lanyard. And I don't know about you, but it's really nice to have a lanyard when you need to show your identification. Without having to carry it around, you can just throw it around your neck. And I love sneaking into government facilities, and surely any government facility would assume my significance when they see Mickey Mouse around my neck. Mm-hmm. And there's collectible stickers, which is awesome. Like, who doesn't want stickers? There's also another key on this dude. And as we've already established someone in your work one of my co-workers and happy hanukkah to this co-worker yes happy hanukkah and uh, in the event i don't get you for secret santa and you want a nice lanyard to wear maybe put your uh, work name tag in or put some kingdom heart stickers on your locker um you know like i said no secret santa 40 dollars us <laughs> 50 for that and the pen so and we let didn't me look just... at this the first time, so I'm going to check out these stickers. Yeah, let's check out the stickers. <clears throat> I will say, I know that Trump is not a very popular uh, topic right now, or president, but Kingdom Hearts 3 will finally be coming out in January, and uh, oh, it didn't happen under any other presidency. Just so, saying. I misread this. 12 years. Guys. This says, includes collectible sticker, not stickers. And it's one, and I'm assuming it's that heart right there oh that's cute so that's the sticker and it's it looks pretty thick like out of a hardcore thick card stock mm-hmm. so you know well i don't need a heart sticker because mine's right beside me mm-hmm. so maybe adam can have that one on the sly for free <laughs> you know and then <laughs> oh we gotta rebox it The next item that we'll be reboxing. Is that the last one? This is the last one. We do this already? Yeah. So this is the um, mouse pad that I found on the back. I almost choked to death on this. Yeah, yeah. That's why I got stashed. 14 and up. Yeah. So this is the um, 
Elder Scrolls map mouse pad. Like, who uses mouses anymore? <laughs> really? The only time I see one is at work when I got a clock in. <laughs> so there's this, which I kind of like. It's handsome. I like the muted colors, you know, the bronze and the teal. That black marsh uh, down there reminds me of my hometown in Whaleyville, Virginia. That's uh, completely surrounded by the Dismal Swamp, which is awesome. So this is a little nostalgic for you. Yeah. Just like it's nostalgic for me to be using a mouse. However, <laughs> if you don't have a mouse, you could always roll this pad into a conical shape and use the point to navigate your touchpad. But yeah, I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure there are still some uh, antediluvians out there like Brandon that probably still use mice, you know, for their gaming and everything. That's antediluvian. Um, so uh, thank you so much for joining us for this unboxing. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, I do have a surprise for the end. Um, <laughs> I'm scared. This loot gaming crate for November 2018 represented the uh last of my petty cash so in lieu of being able to purchase dinner tonight i got that crate delivered but instead we will be eating uncle ben's ready rice original since i spent all my money on this loot crate and a fresh head of garlic for my ASMR, ASMR fans out there, see their anxiety. So, thank you for joining on this, joining us this evening, and we will be. Uh... At least it's not roasted garlic hummus. <laughs> <laughs> we will now be retiring to eat microwave rice and garlic, and then kiss each other good night. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks. <laughs> Have a wonderful night.